All right, so this is the um, the follow up. We're doing the um, defense recap here. We actually had a pretty rough week uh, on our defense, considering it's supposed to be the the quote unquote good one. Uh, but like I mentioned in the um, the offense video, I'm not so uh, concerned about this week, considering it's a bunch of flowers. I don't really, I'm not really after. Um, it always hurts more when you're losing flowers. Um, like red ones and blue ones because they're the ones you need the most of. I think, anyway. I mean, those are all the uh, units I invest in. I mean, if you're like a cav line kind of person or something like that, then obviously uh, yellow ones. And, you know, if you're if you're into armors and green ones. But personally, I already have all the only two. Like, the only two cavs I, I ever want are already invested in. And the only two armors I'll ever want are already invested in. So I'm <laughs> basically solid. Uh, so let's go look at defense results. So we actually got kind of unlucky here because we had a failure and a success, and it caught the fail. It caught the success, the failure. The failure got through, and then the success didn't. Then we got a a failure, and then again, lift loss control only got us during the success, and then a failure, <laughs> and lift loss control got us on a success. <laughs> like uh, sometimes you get lucky with those, and sometimes you don't. You know, it just is what it is. But let's see what happened here. Let's see where our team ended up losing. So is this the one? Sorry, I'm drinking a little bit of uh, morning coffee there. Hmm. Okay, so I hadn't changed it yet. I, I, do, I did change it somewhere in between uh, here in the formation. Uh, basically, she gets put there, he gets put here, and then she gets put... Th these two get traded. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot. I, here and here, she still has the same range, and then her over here has, again, the same range. Uh, but I just thought I'd give it a try and take a look at see what happens. Oh, so it's looking like um, they're just going to have her uh, just super tank everything. Alright. Mm-hmm. Caden gives out free bonus doubler, so that's good. I think that's Caden. Of course, colorless disadvantage, uh, even though she has the uh, tank superiority there. Yeah. Still doesn't uh, mean for much. Actually, let's take a look here for a second. And then, of course, yeah, Camilla just comes in to die. Yeah, so she's got bonuses to everything. Fifty, fifty-seven um, defense. I really like. Um, I really think I, I need to put. What's her name? I think I'm gonna put her back on defense. Um, the Versa, because not having the 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 panic on everybody is is I think really becoming detrimental. Um, like we're losing too much to just randomly like people buffing. We need to have like a threat on defense, and I think uh, the Versa is probably gonna have to be what I go with there. Unfortunately, there's not enough flyers left, and uh, they're not surrounding Pala, so she didn't get the double. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. This is one of the reasons I moved her, is because I feel like she has to be somewhere kind of prominent, because otherwise, like things like this happen, where too many of my flyer flyers end up dying, and then like she won't be as effective as she needs to be. Um. But yeah, I think from here we basically know what's gonna happen. Who's giving out these buffs? Like, there's a link there. The waves are here. Yeah, so I mean, there's a bunch of wave skills usually that ends up people going with. Um, so yeah, I think a versa might have to find. I need to find a way to squeeze a versa back into this. Hopefully it's not too irritating. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we can kind of see where this is going to go. Um, 
they just kind of destroy everybody from there so that's how that went let's take a look I think I might have switched it up by here but let's I don't know yeah okay so by here I had already switched it so let's kind of take a look at how this performs did I win because of the switch or, or not uh, so she basically has the same range right because whether she's here or here like all these blue squares are the same for her so they're both the same right because they both have flyer formation she has a little more red squares like right here uh, because of her two range Basically, she has the same range whether she's here or she's here, um, but I just thought I'd give it a shot, see what happens um, with her there, and see how she does. Just see how they move, see how they see what they do in these positions. Okay, so they popped our um, pot there. Indeed. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Oh, she activated again somehow. All oh, the duos, whatever. I don't know why they activated it the first time. Oh, did they? Maybe they needed to. I wasn't paying attention to how many charges they needed for their specials, but. Okay, I'm not sure what they're doing now. They might just leave. Okay. It's always good to drink water after you have some coffee or something. Just like if you have something that isn't water, it's good to have some water afterwards. Like I know you're probably you might be like like full or you know no longer thirsty from the lack of water from the fact that you just drank something. But it's usually good to just like have a bit of water. Like it'll reset the pH balance in your mouth so that like you can avoid getting uh, <laughs> uh, teeth damage. It's kind of like a like a small reset, I guess you could say. So as you as you can see here, this is kind of like uh, what's the word? Is it just PV PVE at this point? Like this is what that's what that's basically what this is. Is like they took apart our whole team without us being able to react at all, which you know is always interesting to see. Um, it's not as easy as like oh well he's just you just PVE'd my team. I what a scrub or something like that. Like. Somebody, I mean, someone's probably gonna like complain like that about that, but uh, it is it is a very like there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Uh, it's more like my team should not have been able to like you have to set up your team so that these things don't happen. Uh, so if this happened, it wasn't because um, like oh they they just took so many turns on their own they took they, they were able to do so much on their turn. There's nothing I could have done about it. It's like your layout lets this happen. Yeah, so. I wasn't too bad. Uh, the thing that won us here was that they relied way too much on green on blue units. Um, you need it like if you're gonna like you already have a blue unit like that that blue lance person. Why were you bringing Alphonse? Or if you're using Alphonse, bring someone else. You, they really needed to have uh, ulterior colors because of course, obviously, as we can all see, my team is very uh, green heavy. Um, but yeah, so the the Makaya <laughs> the Makaya uh, Minerva duo. Uh, wins out here, uh, which is pretty cool. Always good to see uh, Minerva doing excellent work. Um, unfortunately, I'm actually kind of thinking about changing her weapon just because, like, this... The, the conditions for her weapon aren't as good as, like, you might think they are. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Like, they have to be at 100%. Like, there is no if ands, or buts. Like, they, they're literally just, like, if they're not 100%, then, you know, nothing else works. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of limiting. Uh, if anything, I'd probably just give her an, give her another deck swabber. Um, yeah, another deck swabber would be good. Boosts her uh, res and defense by five because it reduces their attack and then makes them more vulnerable. So it basically gives you five attack extra. Whereas this gives you speed, but she never really has a speed problem, especially with this this plus the goads. Um, so unfortunately, as sad as it might be, uh, I might eventually need to give her the uh the dex 
Uh, sure, this this minus one cooldown is nice, but I'm gonna have to, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to change this to maybe like a bonfire or something. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, like it's just that like like everything here is great. Like this, perfect. Uh, these stats, perfect. The fact that you have a uh, guard built in, perfect. But it's like, no, you're never fighting people at 100% of their HP. Like, I mean, well, partially it's my fault because I'm running uh, Duma. But even if you didn't have Duma there, like, a lot of people aren't going to realize, like, the reason I put Duma there is it's not that big a deal. Because either they're going to heal it or they're not going to heal it. If they're not going to heal it, there's other, like, chances are they're going to get, they're going to end up getting hit, you know, by something else later. Or they're not going to be at full HP. And it's not all, like, on Duma's fault that they're not at, HP, at full HP, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, like I said... Uh, we won this one, so it's not, not too much, um, not too worth complaining, but we'll, we'll take a look. We'll, we'll, going forward, now that I'm, like, considering changing her weapon, I'm going to have to keep a close eye on Minerva and see how she does and see where her weapon is active and where it's not. Um, okay, so let's take a look here. So what happened here? So here's Eldigan doing whatever Eldigan does. Still not sure what like the main strategy is. I guess it's like we're gonna have um, we're gonna have this kid doing something. Let's see what someone else's Tamari uh, someone Tamari user. Yeah, the Tamari the Tamari carrier. Let's see what else is, someone else's Tethys looks like. This Tethys is still relatively new. I imagine. I mean, they might end up looking like my Tethys, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. There's a lot of emphasis on the uh, on the res here to make sure you get over this res. Um, Heap. So the fact that it's not HP plus HP, and then the fact that like they just have the fortress res, might mean they're not going to worry about the sudden panic. But who knows? They might get. They might uh, change up the build a little bit later. Uh, Nino, very interesting. Okay, so thirty. Yes, dead. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, considering her rest stat is actually like obviously her highest stat. He, he did 36 damage to her with this ward and this ward that's like 47 plus 8 is 50 something and she, she still did like 30 something that's pretty crazy not sure what I can do there to uh, improve that and then of course uh, the whole thing just kind of falls apart because like we, we talked about last time that anchor position is very um, vital to make sure like they just don't die but unfortunately uh, she did end up dying so and of course uh, oh he killed her first or Nino she I think it was she she killed him first that's interesting which is of course uh, probably the better play um, you can just dance around her yeah This is actually a pretty good season, right? Because like, because Eldigan is there, you can have two dancers, and it makes it so easy, so much easier to do a lot of things like this. Uh, and then at this point, we're too scattered. We're just gonna die. And yeah, so I think we kind of see where this is going. Oh, let's move on. Yeah, so we lost that one largely on range and inability to tank that Nino. Um, strangely enough. I think, uh, you know, like I said, some of these are, I'm starting to see more and more that like buffs are, are really strong on enemy, on, you know, offense. So like, you really have to do something about that more than just like, I obviously have this here, but you really need to do something more than just that. You know what I mean? Um, this already looks like a nightmare to deal with. Let's see what happens here. I think, I mean, what they should do is probably just hit the Duma back there and then go on doing whatever.
Okay. Yeah, that was a waste of a dance there. 24 by 2. Okay. So basically her um, guard did what it was supposed to do, but other than that, she's just going to die. Yeah, it's really hard to make, like, Camilla be your, your, uh, her front line there. She's just, like, no matter what, she's going to take a huge amount of abuse. <sighs> hmm. So Pala gets sniped here, which is fine, because this happens, like, all the time. Because this is a mistake. I don't know why they ended turn like this. Because she's going to kill somebody. Or she's probably just going to kill him. And then she's probably just going to kill him. And then she's going to get danced and probably kill her. Yeah, so she's just going to kill him with a one shot. Because she's a cav. Um, and then she's gonna, he's going to die to her. Because she's green and he's blue. Yeah, so uh, that was that. And there you go. That's another like, she her her ability wasn't up, right? See, this is exactly what I just said was gonna happen. I mean, I guess I could have seen it beforehand, but I actually haven't seen any of these past like the first one or two. Um, but yeah, I mean that's exactly why I said what I said because this was gonna happen. Uh, and then she's gonna try to kill Makaya for five damage apparently. 19. Oh, I should actually do killer. Uh, this is kind of also what's irritating me is that too many times Mirabilis would just sit here. She'll dance someone from where she is and then do nothing. Um, it's starting to get on my nerves, so I really need to figure out where to put her or what to do with her because this is this is not okay. She cannot just be sitting here um, doing nothing. Oh, it actually does quite a bit of damage. 38, that's crazy. Considering how tanky she is. Fifty-nine, yeah. I guess I could see that. Oh, this is you know, especially because it's bonus season. But then he's just gonna die to, to Minerva. So again, like his HP is not high enough to activate her um her ability. Like it's just not really worth it. He just left. I think he might have been able to kill her. Glimmer. No, probably not. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, it is what it is. Like I said, like that. The his HP, the HP he was missing there was not even because of obviously the um, the Duma, right? That had nothing to do with that. Like taking Duma out of the equation, everything else held equal. Like it's not, you know. Nothing. Nothing changes. Like she still most of the time uses her weapon, and it's not effect. It's not doing anything because their HP is not a hundred percent. It's basically just overkill when it is at a hundred percent. Like it's not. It's just not. It's a. It's. It's like I said. It's. It's just disappointing me at this point. Like it looks good, granted, but those buffs are way too hard to to activate. So yeah, I might just give her like a deck swabber. Okay, very interesting. So she's gonna not do anything, apparently. Oh, very interesting. Uh, we lost to this one, so let's see what happens here. Of course, she she's uh, locking these two. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I didn't think about that, right? She can lock her down too, because she has a sacrifice. Um, so that's kind of that's that's a very interesting thing to consider. Um, that you don't want to line them up like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of how they act. Why Micaiah decided to get her ass out here and fight against her instead of like her who might have actually survived, I am I have no idea. Um but yeah, that was pretty annoying how dumb that was. Um 
wonder if she, like, maybe she won't survive. And the question there is like, why won't she survive? <laughs> uh, plus nine, Altina. Yeah, that might be a good reason why you wouldn't survive. Uh, 40 and 60. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, impressive Altina you have here, my friend. Yeah, so twice for nothing. Just get one shot. Uh, so we lost this one on the fact that we have a lot of, we're very green heavy. Um, yeah, we're very green heavy with, uh, with Altina being here. Uh, but yeah, we can see where this is going. Actually, let's see what, uh, no, yeah, she just got sniped. I thought maybe he'd like try to fight her with uh, Altina. I was like, well, let's see what, uh, what we can do against that. Um, let's take a look over here. Oof, is that a freaking Claude? <laughs> you Claude. I don't know why I like uh, Peridot for some reason. I've never actually seen that <laughs> that show enough to say that I, I I like Peridot a lot, but I don't know. I do. Um, Wind Parthia. Yeah, yeah so this is very interesting. Let's see if uh, if it's Claude that it does me in here. Close foil. This is actually like if I were to make him, this is probably what he'd look like. Except for that, I don't know what that what's that why that's still there. I'd probably put, like the Vantage, of course. Um, yeah. Let's see. There's no like AOE like <laughs> thinking about um, Epic Seven, but there's like there's no like AOE cleanse, right? There's no way to like get rid of all these debuffs off of people. You can only do it one at a time, and that's like only her. Um, I think because right now I have a plus one Mirabilis. I think the play should have been like not merging them and had two Mirabilises instead of him, and then have something else there instead of him. But uh, yeah, it's it's a bit late for regrets now, so that's fine. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, so we all healed, so that tap bolt tower didn't do very much there. So five twice. And he didn't get his special off, which is good. But he's now he's still going back in. Uh, he does get the special this time, though, because of um, she's under the threshold. Oh, and I actually survived. Holy shit. Just... Uh, let's see what happens here. I think Camilla needs to fight Alphonse. Just one shot him with the arc. This could happen. Yay! Nepala finally did something. I hit him for 33. Oh, is she gonna die? Oh, no, she shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. And then he's just gonna get stomped by Duma. This is a weird positioning. I don't know why they moved like this. And that went that way. Wait, where are we? So I lost this one to four. We saw that victory. So we saw this victory here, and then we're how far away? So this last top three here. We're almost done. Okay, so we failed against these guys. And I think obviously, yeah, I think the what happened here was just we lost to um, a plus one um, Legendary or Legendary Ike, I think. What is it? It's not Legendary Ike, is it? It's a. Uh, I don't know what this is like. Mythic Ike. Well, he's not a mythic either, but whatever. Uh, he's got this. Bonus doubler would be pretty good on him. Yeah, because either way he gets the bonuses. Either he gets a bunch of bonuses from bonus doubler, or he gets a but bunch of bonuses from his weapon because he's got debuffs, right? So either way, it's a win-win for him. Uh, 
Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, so they wasted the attack, the bolt tower, because this is going to heal. <laughs> and then for some reason, Micaiah is always initiating first, so um, I really I need to do something about this. I don't know why she's constantly initiating. I need to boost this healing tower to match the uh, the bolt tower, just to make sure she like gets her uh, guard off. But yeah, now I'm starting to get a little pissed uh, watching these <laughs> over and over again, because Micaiah is for some reason... Uh, being baited out easily. I'm not sure why. Ooh, I get the 32 by 2. Or the 37 by 2. Let's see if I kill him. 23. So the reduction, this is the reduction from the close call. Yeah. Uh, why was I getting my special not charged? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with that. Cause he should have he should have had a special because he doubles, right? He should have hit him once and then special him. And of course this doesn't go anywhere. And then um The one person I needed to hit him was uh not in position, so I need to figure out what's going on there. Oh okay, yeah, I think we um we can kinda see where this is going. Look at that seventy two attack. Wasted because my AI is idiotic. Um I think um, Mirabilis and another Mirabilis here, and then replace this with someone else would be would be pretty decent. But of course, maybe you'd want like a Mirabilis here somewhere. Probably yeah, probably one here and one here. Uh, put you here, and then something else here. <laughs> I need to take. Oh uh, well, I guess what, what I'm learning from this. Primarily is I need to take off the uh, the flyer formation from her because it's not doing anything other than getting her killed. So yeah, so I'm just gonna take the flyer formation off, uh, give it to her, and then I guess give her uh, this one, the flyer guidance. Even though it's not really useful other than to help him move around, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's the biggest takeaway from this is take off flyer formation from her because she's too stupid to know how to use it. Okay, let's see what happens here. It's Alphonse and Sharina. Okay, so three attack with open the future is 29. That's not too bad. Got 26 off of that. What does the special do exactly? Oh, units defense. That's a lot of defense, man. Uh, I, I hate New Year's Alphonse for any of you out there who um, <laughs> want to know about units. I hate. Um, he's one of the one of the units I really despise. <laughs> like all of this is just disgusting. Like with this and this, it's like no, no. I ain't down for that kind of power creep. Uh, why he... that might have been a misclick, because I think he should have just moved there and hit uh, Duma, right? Like, I'm not sure why... what happened there. That happens to me sometimes, I think you guys have seen that, like, I just, like, move him up a little bit and then, like, you just let it go and it's like, damn, he's stuck there now forever. Um, but yeah, he should have just killed Duma. Uh, but, he, I mean, he was probably gonna die anyway, right? Because then this was gonna happen. Yeah, so there you go. There's uh, there's Minerva showing off again the fact that her weapon does nothing. Uh, Micaiah kills Ninian, so that's cool. Uh, and then he moves into a, a better position. Uh, and then they just leave. Okay. This is interesting. I actually wonder what's going on here. Tamari, you, I guess it's, I guess she's the main. Yeah, so and then you, you find a lot of um, blade tomes because 
the fact that bonuses uh, are very strong on on offense because like you know no one's gonna like there's not like it's it's hard to have a consistent um panic on defense because if you have like a versa up there they just have to like oh okay well i just won't like have anybody touching each other this is why i kind of think um iago might be better in the long run because you're getting two very strong debuffs regardless um whether on odd turns or even turns but the fact that they have to sit there and do that like mental juggling of like all right what turn what do i have to do do i have to have them touching each other do i have to have them not touching each other uh, what's going on just like that slight like even slight bit of like dedication and mental process to like make sure you have that down is is enough to be can change uh, battles for the better on your side okay so this is interesting if we win this it's probably just because again we're green heavy and uh, they're relying on a blue so <laughs> okay so let's take a look at this he didn't even kill her I don't even know what the uh why he attacked or here well, I don't know why this person attacked if you weren't gonna kill her you could have just put her up there and then kill him or kill her and then maybe she could have probably fought the other ones and then we got healed okay this is a pretty interesting formation um, this is actually probably one of the better formations I've ever done like now she's threatening all this she's threatening all this space here and still being very heavily protected uh, she's threatening a lot of space, and then he's on the defense tile, which means it's harder to kill him if you want to just snipe him real quick to avoid his damage. I think they might just leave after this because this is like, like the way they are here is almost better than when they the way they started off over here. Okay, so he's actually going in. So well, actually, he because of the uh, effectiveness, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Got the uh, got the one shot. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so then they just left because, I mean, I guess maybe she's not going to die, and then, like, I don't know, I'm, that's kind of weird that they just left, because, I mean, my next position would have been, like, put her here and then snipe her, and then she might not be able to fight you very well. Obviously, she's not going to do nothing. She's not going to do anything, pardon that poor English there. Uh, they might... I mean, they might kill you. Which defense does she have? Yeah, yeah, they're probably gonna. That's probably why. Just because there's nothing you could have done about that. It would just had to sit there and die. Um, or maybe just like I mean, she danced her, so she could just move move her out of the way, or put her down here, reposition her that way, and then have these two bait get baited into her, and then do that. Um, but you know, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, you know, teach their own. Uh, weird that they they went with Fury three instead of the Asheris chosen. I feel like that's kind of like better in most cases but it is what it is like even if it didn't have the um like the io shield if you're just like oh i don't really value the io shield ability even if you don't value that i mean you probably i think i mean you're, you're getting you're getting 12 stats in general right you're getting three 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 and three so 12 three for all stats but the assurance chosen also gives you 12 stats in attack and defense which are arguably more valuable because you're wasting three on speed um yeah, on the other one, you're wasting three on speed, but all twelve are useful in the other one, and then you're losing HP because you you've got the um, the fury effect. So I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I understand what went on there. Uh, but so yeah, that was today. That was this week's uh, defenses. Um, lessons to take away. Uh, for one, probably gonna have to put a Versa back on defense. Um, to, uh, for two, I'm probably gonna trade a Versa for Makaya. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna trade a Versa for Makaya just to have maybe like a red threat. Now, granted, of course, um, Versas are never really strong red threats, but you know it's better than nothing. Um, but you know, yeah, like I said, it's better than nothing. Um, and then for two, um, if, if I wasn't gonna take off Makaya, uh, just make sure to give take take the flyer formation off Makaya because she can't really use it very well. And then, you know, just give it to Mirabilis. Because, I mean, I, I wanted to give it to her, but I thought maybe it'd be more important to have it on Makaya for better coverage in terms of, like, what she can snipe. But it's not worth it. It's, like, Mirabilis just sits back there like an idiot and doesn't do anything without the flyer formation. So that's going to be kind of, you know, what's up with that. Um, and third takeaway is if I get another Mirabilis, obviously don't merge her. Um, just leave her there as a uh, as another unit. Um, just have two Makayas, or two, did I say Makaya? Uh, two Mirabilis on defense instead of having like the Duma 
might be better. I'll test it out. I still really think that the Duma's kill secure is is like the fact like he did, obviously we saw there he doesn't actually get that many kills a lot of the time. He just gets he just gets kind of sniped. But like the fact that he has the potential to kill someone is very dangerous for the enemy team. So it's something to for it's like something to keep in mind. Like you can't just ignore him too often. Uh, most of the time you can, right? Because he moves too slow. But the fact that I have the um, what's that ability? The uh, the ground orders or whatever, giving him extra mobility is something they have to watch out for. So I don't know. I'll have to see. We'll, we'll try it again in a while. Um, I I don't think I'll see myself getting a Mirabilis anytime soon. Um, but when that happens, I'll switch them out and we'll see how that goes from there. But uh, other than that, so yeah, those are the main takeaways. Is I need another Mir Mirabilis. I, sh I really need a Versa or just somebody with uh, Panic Smoke. Or, or not Panic Smoke, but or maybe, yeah, maybe even Panic Smoke. I don't actually have anybody who has that skill though. Um, or But yeah, like someone, some, like Mirabilis, another Mirabilis. Uh, some, some easily applicable Panic, which means that I can probably take off the Panic Manor, maybe. Um, I'd probably just still leave it there though. Um, and then lastly, um, just, just take a uh, flyer formation off of Makaya if I decide to leave her there. Um, so I'll make some tweaks. We'll see where we go, uh, next, uh, next time. And, uh, yeah, I guess good luck on your uh, Aether Raids. Hopefully you guys don't get, uh, too stomped down on your defenses.